Hey guys, Lou here with Tiny Mountain Houses. We are today at Feather Falls Casino in beautiful Oroville, California, where we have built for the casino a promotional Chinook Peak House. This is 22 feet long, beautiful build. I can't wait to walk you inside of this. It's fully staged. We've got a five foot shower in here, quartz countertops, and some really cool amenities that I can't wait to show you. Of course, we've got our standard metal uh, Galvalume exterior here, our huge 30 by 80 picture windows, as well as the single light French door. And the house looks fantastic. It is so cool. Let's go inside, guys. Come on. Check this out. You know, one of the things we did do for the casino here is we staged the house. We actually purchased special furniture that fits in our tiny houses to really give you the feel of living in this house. And, and, and I, I gotta say, I mean, I, <laughs> I just feel like kicking back on a couch, you know, grabbing a good book, watching TV. Uh, I mean, it just feels so inviting and comfortable. I, I, I can't get over it. I mean, I, I, I say this all the time. I love our houses. And I think that hopefully you will too. As we walk through this build, I wanna point a couple things out right now. And I think just over to my left here um, is our sweeping ladder. Um, look how beautiful this is. Um, now, of course, you know, if we build it for you, we can do different stair step treads, we can do different colors uh, on the metal, but I, I think this contrast works very well with the rest of this house. The other thing we did here is, is we, we added a television. And not this TV, I mean, the way that it can swivel gives you the ability to see it from a lot of different areas in the house, not only from this living area, but I mean, you can actually see from the bathroom if you wanted to, or from the secondary loft. And it easily swings back into place, turns out toward the living. Okay, so here we are, I'm standing in the kitchen of the Chinook Peak. I wanna point a few features out. One is we added 3CM quartz countertops. Notice the nice, cool little snack bar ledge there. Um, the apron sink, we do a lot of these. We added a commercial style spring um, faucet in here, rather than the gooseneck or the standard pull out faucet that we do a lot of. Um, you'll see the two burner standard electric cooktop. I think that this backsplash really turned out nice in terms of connecting all the different finishes and colors in this house, don't you? And as you look upward from there, you'll see as always, uh, our exhaust fan in the kitchen that blows the air, odors, etc. outside the house. We don't use a recycle or charcoal filter, just blows it out. You'll see the extended over height cabinets in here, and those are standard uh, cabinet finishes for this house. Finger pull as opposed to hardware on here. I'm gonna open this up, and you'll see a series of adjustable shelves, as always, in our overheads really makes nice flexible space up there. I wanna go down and take a look at our base cabinets here. And as always, fully extendable ball bearing roller guides. I mean, you get full extension all the way back into the rearmost portion of that drawer to fully use uh, uh, that, that drawer space. Talk about the windows here. We've got the 3080 windows. Wow, they bring in a lot of natural light. And of course, as always, these are low E windows, high efficiency, tempered. They're filled with argon gas and they're smart glass. In other words, they allow the warmth of the sun to come in in the wintertime when you need the warmth. In the summertime, they reflect it out to keep the cool air inside. Um, and as I talk about cool air inside, this house is actually equipped with a mini split system uh, that cools and heats your home and is super energy efficient. Tell you, if, if you need air conditioning, that is the way to go. And looking at the opposite side of the kitchen, what you're gonna see is our apartment size stainless steel refrigerator, bottom freezer. Let's take a peek at that. There you go, lots of space. And it looks very contemporary too, I might add, with that lower freezer. Um, we've got our, actually we added an upgrade ladder in this build, this is oak. Um, nice and sturdy, heavy duty ladder. Um, of course, it's in the storage mode right now. To use it to climb, you simply bring it down, 
pull it on the sec place it on the second hooks and boom got it um, additional counter space here once again the backsplash um, ties everything in very nicely we've added also the 30 by 80 uh, optional window here behind the sweeping ladder lots of more light I mean, it looks pretty cool opens this space up very nicely all right let's walk into the bathroom first off we want to point out pocket door always a good choice for a space saver let's take a look inside this bathroom um, this bathroom is actually five feet deep we've got two obscure windows in here um, as always our bathroom windows are obscure for privacy if you decide you want them clear no problem um, you'll see the uh, continuation of the coarse countertops we've got the top mount china sink metal satin nickel faucet of course the backsplash continues same as in the kitchen nice combination of colors I want to show you the recessed medicine cabinet this is all mirrored mirrored on the inside mirrored on the outside adjustable shelving in here very well built if that suits your needs by all means let us know um, we've got our standard uh, residential flush toilet in here we've got the beadboard finish um, we've also encased the ceiling with the beadboard and sealed everything off to eliminate any possibility of moisture penetration into that cavity. As always, uh, exhaust fan vents out of the house to get the odors out of here, get the steam out of here, and minimize any problem for moisture. Um, this shower, this, 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 this guy is five feet. Look at it, two seats deep. I mean, we get people say all the time, that's bigger than the shower in my house or my apartment. Look at this thing lots of room look at that I mean it is fantastic I mean in a tiny house come on and fiberglass is the way to go guys this this is one piece you don't have to worry about tiles or grout cracking or the base causing problems it's a one piece um, shower it'll last 15 20 years if you take care of it but pretty cool isn't it as always um, satin nickel uh, uh, hardware shower head at two gallons per minute this is this is just a wonderful layout if i do say so myself so here we are up in the master loft two egress windows for emergency escape window on the end wall they all open lots of natural light in here and you can see how much room there is this is a queen size bed we've got a nice little uh, side table there lots of lighting isn't it pretty cool okay guys let's check out the uh, secondary loft i'm gonna slide out our ladder here put it in climbing mode hang it on the hooks there and let's go up and take a peek um, what we have here the secondary loft is just at five feet by almost eight feet in width and the way we've got it set up in here with a couple of uh, uh, slipper chairs up here, you know, a nice little cozy reading or kickback area or whatever you'd like. I mean, this could actually be a small bedroom if you wanted to turn it into a bedroom. So, but you can see the space, um, just like the master loft, two egress windows um, and an in-wall window, all having the ability to open. So you can see what we've done here. You know, if it suits your needs, by all means, go for it. If you want it as a sleeping area, no problem there either. And sometimes folks want privacy walls up here. We can do that as well. So just let us know. Um, I want to kind of recap the Chinook Peak build here. Uh, this unit is 22 feet long. Uh, it is 13 six in height. We're eight and a half feet wide. We're about 300 square feet. Now uh, what you've got in here is two sleeping lofts. The main loft is uh, just at eight feet. Uh, the secondary loft is right around five feet. You can turn it into a bedroom space. Uh, it can be a sitting area. It can be a lot of different things, you know, depending on what, what you want to do. We've got quartz countertops in here with the apron sink. We've got the two burner cooktop. You know, I call it the springy dingy faucet. I think it's pretty cool. It's the commercial style spring. Um, and then you've got, of course, our custom sweeping ladder, the built-in television with the, the ability to swing, and you've got the ability to see it you know, from a lot of different angles in this house. I think it makes it very versatile. You know, we've got this cool little uh, sectional uh, 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 sofa in here. 
Um, and I, and I, I think that uh, hopefully, you know, you guys are excited about this house as we are. You know, we have built this for Feather Falls Casino as a promotional unit. Um, and, and we've got to appreciate the fact that they reach out to us, Tiny Mountain Houses, to build their house. Uh, look forward to seeing you sometime soon. Give us a call. It sounds like uh, maybe we can fit your needs as far as a builder uh, with Tiny Houses. We do a great job for you. We look forward to hearing from you. Or if it's just to find out you know, what it takes and how the process works, we'd love to talk to you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you very much for checking us out.